All right, guys, this is the Vaporglow 6 in its natural habitat, especially in this color, desert color. I think it's called Coyote. It's absolutely perfect for this kind of, you know, kind of gravelly, kind of... This used to be a quarry, basically. They have now turned into, like, a track for bicycles and stuff. And the traction I get here... Guys, this is loose terrain. I bring RC cars here and whatever. If you don't have good tires, you're gonna spin around. This is loose. Like, look, look how... You see this? This is where we're looking here. And, look. You can actually... I'm just sitting... Like, this is so steep here. I cannot obviously... I cannot show you how steep it is. Um, you can only imagine. But look, I'm gonna go down. Absolutely epic traction. Uh, those small lags they're so good and people of course complain that they're not durable enough yes on pavement they're not they're absolutely not durable enough on pavement but if you only use them on trails they will be brand new basically forever and that is crazy this is my favorite barefoot, barefoot shoe right now obviously uh, it's narrow, yes, it's narrow on the small toe, so I had to size up. Uh, it's a Euro 46 instead of a 45, but this is actually half size up. It's just that the metal's uh, sizing is weird when it comes to the European sizes. So this would be like a 45.5. They are marginal, like the length, I wouldn't want it longer, look at where my toe is. Ideally, you're going to touch the guard a bit. So, and my left foot, so it's shorter, so yeah, this is the absolute margin. That's why I didn't want to size up. The previous size was perfect, but it was too narrow. Here, I still have some issues even and now I can feel it restricting my small toe a bit. But it's fine. It's breaking in slowly and I mean, it's just so marginal. I think it's it will break in. There is no way it's just gonna torture me forever. Right now I'm good. Most of the time I'm good nowadays, it has broken it a bit, so yeah. These shoes guys, probably the most flexible, light and high performance barefoot shoes you can get. Individual qualities, maybe you can find in other shoes, maybe you can find a similarly flexible shoe, similar weight shoe, but this, when it comes to combining all of them, is just insane. And this sole, I'm in love with it. Of course, if you buy it to run on pavement, it's going to wear down very fast. Seriously, very, very fast. But I'm only using them on trails, basically. When there are dirt roads, look how, look how soft everything is. The lags. It's just so grip. Guys, this is, this is a, a ramp, right? This is a curb, rather. You're not supposed to walk up this kind of stuff. But with these guys, look. You can just... You can stand on the highest point of incline and I'm not even sliding. Like this is crazy guys. So yeah, I just, I love these shoes, you know. It's just, this is what I'm looking for. And yeah, we'll be making more videos of them, I guess. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya.